Hey everyone, I am back and in the next few days, weeks, I'm going to be trying out, sorry, <laughs> these two masks. They are the Etude House Tea Tree Soothing and Clean Mask. Get that in there. And I'm going to be comparing it to the Innisfree is Real Squeeze Mask that is also tea tree. So I have both of these and we'll see which one I like better. So I'll get to it. Bye. In about 15 minutes. Hello again. Trying to take this bad boy off my face. Which it still has, it's been 15 minutes and it still has some nice moisture going on up in here. So, feels very good. <sighs> Ooh. The goods and bads of the Etude House Tea Tree face mask. The goods is that there's a lot of essence is that what's on these things. There's a lot of essence on these bad boys, so they're very moist. I know it's not a good word for a lot of people. They're very, they're like, they're soaked, and so it's like, it's really nice. You can see it's so like, ah, and it feels really refreshing and just, ah, feels really, really nice on your skin. It covers my skin really well. It feels really nice. It's doused in essence, so it feels like my skin is getting a lot of that in there. It's nice for a quick little treatment. The worst thing about it is that the eye holes are so tiny. I don't have a classic Asian eye. My eyes are a little bit more like bloop and buggy. So like these are cut for really like thin and long eyes as opposed to my like kind of bigger eyes. Yeah, let me see if I can see how the eye holes are just they're very very thin and also the mouth hole the mouth hair is also pretty thin so that's probably the only complaint that's my main complaint oh my god seriously there's so much stuff on here still can you see that where my other arm like look at that look at that that's crazy there's so much on here. Oh, but it feels so good. <laughs> um, another pro is that they are cheap and there are sales on them if you do the Etude House uh, World website. Oh, this feels so good. Um, I'm going to give you a solid B plus A minus because the biggest faults were that the eye hole and the mouth hole were just so 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 thin and like stretched out but it was drenched in essence so it just felt like ah yes and there's still more in the little sachet thing i like squeeze more out of there i know there's more in there 
and it feels really nice and cool and just ah, refreshing and they're cheap. <laughs> but the other thing is, you know, accessibility in the US, in my area, not very big. And so I just, I hope they're so small, so small. But otherwise, baller. Compared to the ones I have tried so far, which is mainly the FPL ones, those ones are really thick as opposed to these, which are pretty thin. I like the thin ones better. So next we're going to try that Innisfree one, see how it stacks up to the Etsy House one. See you after that one gets put on my face. Hello, hello again. Today we're going to be trying, or tonight, the Innisfree Teach Mask to see how it compares to the Etude House one. And it's the Tea Tree. It's Innisfree, it's Real Squeeze Mask Tea Tree. If you hear that, that's a water filter for my roommate's fish. Anyways, there's this. That's what the back looks like. La 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 la. Let's see how this works. I am sick, so I'm not. It's gonna make a difference. Alright, I will check back with you guys in about 15 minutes. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's take the bad boy off. The good things about this mask is that the eye holes, they worked for my eyes. They were bigger than the Etude House ones, which is a huge huge plus and I feel that this mask fits my face better also nice moisture very good it's not as wet as the Etude House one and there was also not as much extra essence in the packet like the Etude House one so that's kind of a negative but at the same time it's like I don't need all that extra essence um, so it's not too much of a negative for me. Um, if I have to go on what one I liked better, I think I like the Innisfree one better. Just because it fit my face so much better. Just The eye holes is a big one for me. It's like, I felt like I could barely have my eyes open with the Etude House one. Well, this one I can have my eyes open and still be totally okay. Smell wise, you know. Nothing crazy. Once again, I don't I don't really know the differences between like what makes a good sheet mask or not. But I feel like this is a pretty good one. It is more expensive than the Etude House one. Do I feel like it was necessarily worth it to be more expensive? Not really. But it's still a really bomb mask. And I know this free is one of the more like naturally -ish kind of brand. <laughs> so I don't know what one has better ingredients, that's better for your skin or whatever, but I feel like they were both pretty comparable on the feels. Um, also with this being not as wet, my face doesn't feel as sticky as it did with the Etude House one. Um, also a nice thin sheet, which is really nice. Um, which both of them have a nice thin mask sheet, which is nice. I can't really think of anything real negative about this one. I feel really the only negative of the Etude House one was that the eye holes were so small <laughs> and it did fit my face very well, while this one did fit my face better. So overall, very positive on the Innisfree one. I guess the only negative is that it's pricier than the Etude House one, which isn't a huge turnoff for me, except, you know, the Etude House website you have to spend more, so that's not to get free shipping, which isn't as fun. Um, and also this was more expensive. I did buy this in Singapore as well. Oops. 
it's almost pricier there too, but I feel like in Korea it probably won't be too much more expensive than a two house. Probably it's probably will still be a little bit more, but not too bad. Nothing bad about this one. I'm just gonna put the rest of the rest of the essence on my arms because that's what I think I should do. Overall, I really did enjoy both masks. They both felt really nice. Oh, you know what? I just thought um, the Innisfree one wasn't as cooling and like refreshing feeling as the Etude House one. I mean, they both feel really nice. And they do feel really like relaxing and refreshing. But this one didn't feel as cooling and as refreshing as the Etude House one. That one felt like really nice on my skin. Just they were both just put in a drawer at room temperature. I didn't like put any of them in the fridge or anything. So when I put the Etude House one, it felt really cooling and just like <sighs> this one still felt nice, but it did feel room temperature as opposed to the Etude House one, which felt cool. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but. <laughs> That's how I feel. But otherwise, I feel like they were both good. Totally would wear and use both of them again easily. Sheet masks are totally a nice way to just give a little extra something on your skin. Make it feel good. Especially if you're sick like me. It feels really nice to get a face mask on. It feels good. Anyways, I feel like they were both good. If I had to choose which one to wear again, I think it would be the Innisfree just because of the eye holes. Like, yeah, it wasn't as cooling and refreshing as the Etude House one, but it was still really nice. And the eye holes. The eye holes is what got me. So, like, it just fit my face better. So, I feel like if I had to choose, so give me the choice, I would choose the Innisfree one. Um, I did buy a ton of Etude House ones, um, which I filmed a haul video. I don't know if it's going to be up yet. If not, look out for that. It'll go up. I did do a bunch of those, so I will probably be reviewing those as well, because they're different kinds and such. Hopefully, not all of their eye holes are like that, but I feel like they probably are, so. I do toes. Just make the eye holes a little bit bigger for us mixed kids, because I got big eyes. <laughs> and then this week, keep doing what you're doing with the eye holes. A plus for that. That's it. Thank you for watching and seeing my crazy face with the mask on. <laughs> Alright, bye.